Today we're looking at a wonderful thought in Isaiah 41 verse 11, which reads, Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Look up and see this glorious truth. Look up, realize, all those that were incensed against you have become ashamed and confounded. Their intentions have been thwarted. Their expectancy has been dashed. Their grand expectations vanished like a vapor. Their plotting and planning has come to naught. What has thwarted their malignant intentions? The Lord himself is our God and our Redeemer. We are the sheep of his pasture, the children of his hand. He has sworn an oath, as only he can, that blessing he will bless us and multiplying he will multiply us. The cause of those that plot against us will not succeed. Is this because we are strong and mighty? No. Like Jacob, we may be a worm, but it is the Lord who stands. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. It is because it is God who turns the evil intentions of others into good. See Genesis 15:19 to 21. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for am I in the place of God? But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good, to bring to pass, as it is this day, to save much people alive. Now therefore fear ye not, I will nourish you and your little ones, and he comforted them and spake kindly unto them. And so, Isaiah 41, Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They that shall be as nothing. They that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, for I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob. It's the Lord who said he would never leave us. It is he who holds us by the right hand. It is he, hallelujah, who brings to naught the intentions of those that would despitefully use us. So let's pray for them that God will bless them because God is surely blessing us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.